The life cycle of a star. A star forms from a nebula. A nebula is a cloud of dust and gas composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. Gravity begins to make the nebula clump, and as it attracts more atoms, the gravitational pull of the clump grows, attracting even more atoms. This adding of atoms to the center of the protostar is called accretion. To achieve life as a star, the protostar will need to maintain equilibrium. This is a balance between gravity pulling atoms toward the center and gas pressure pushing heat and light away from the center. There are two things that can happen to the protostar at this developmental stage. One, if the vital core temperature is not reached, it ends up as a brown dwarf, never reaching starhood. Two, if the protostar's critical temperature is reached, nuclear fusion begins between the hydrogen and helium atoms. Then, a star is born. What is a star? A star is a really hot ball of gas with hydrogen fusing to helium at its core. The main sequence. Stars live a majority of their life in the main sequence. The temperature at the center of the star slowly rises over time because the star radiates away energy. It is also slowly contracting. Smaller stars live longer. There is a five-step process in the life of a star. One, nuclear fusion or equilibrium. Two, the star runs out of particles to fuse. Three, fusion stops. Four, the core contracts. Five, there is an increased temperature, which results in a denser core. Then, it starts back at one. The beginning of the end. When there is no more hydrogen in the core, the star must burn helium. The end of a star is death. There are two types of death for stars. Big stars turn into supernovas, which eventually turn into black holes. Medium stars collapse into white dwarfs. All that is known, regardless of its size, is that a star must eventually run out of fuel and collapse. In theory, gravity wins.